Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is yoga for emotional release. Yoga can help you release emotions because it helps you to stretch your fascia. Fascia is the connective tissue surrounding and intertwining the whole body. Fascia is 70% water and when you experience physical or emotional trauma, your body and your fascia reacts by dehydrating. When we start moving, we stretch and rehydrate the fascia and emotions are released, such as crying. Emotions often tend to be stored in our hips. So for this emotional release practice, we will be doing some poses to open up our hips and just encouraging relaxation and release so that you are able to release any pent up emotions you may have living in your body, in your mind, or on your heart. So let us just begin with some intentional breathing. Hands can just rest, palms facing upward. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale loudly. Inhale. Exhale. Few more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more round. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to your natural breath. Just trying to relax and release any tension you may be holding. Drop your chin down to your chest and begin to rotate your head to the right. Just really using the full rotation of the neck space if you can. Inhaling as the head falls back and exhaling as it comes forward. Trying to release any neck tension here. And then we'll begin to move our head in the opposite direction. Still moving our neck in circles. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. back to neutral let your hands rest palms facing down and we'll move into seated cat cow inhale lift the chin arch the spine open the chest exhale round the spine tuck the chin down inhaling the chin up exhaling down making sure you're moving with your breath Couple more rounds of cat cow. Mm -hmm. 
Come back to a neutral spine. Make your way up to a table position on hands and knees. Bring the big toes together. Float your hips back towards your heels, knees out wide, coming to child's pose. Fully releasing and relaxing down into your child's pose. And feel free to find some movement here. You can gently move the hips side to side, allowing your body to settle down into your child's pose even more. Go ahead and find stillness. Begin to float your body back up to a neutral spine and then take your legs, extend them out in front of you, bringing your feet flat and your knees bent, just letting the knees fall from one side and then to the other side. Arms are behind you for support, just doing some windshield wipers here. Just allowing the knees to relax down from one side to the other, opening our hips some more. And then go ahead and let those knees fall to the right side, letting the bottom of the right foot rest on top of the left knee. If you like, you can even tuck that right foot into the left hip. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Letting the left hand come on the outside of that right knee, coming to Bharadva Jasana. If this is difficult, you can also just let those knees stack one on top of the other as they fall over to the right. Just getting a nice twist here. Come back to center. Maybe do a round or two of windshield wipers again and then let your knees fall over to the left side. Bottom of the left foot rests on top of the right knee. Knees can stack, or you can take that foot, tuck it on the inside of the hip. Inhale up, exhale, twist to the left, bringing your gaze over that back shoulder. Again, just getting a nice deep twist here and opening our hips a bit in the process. Take an inhale. Exhale back to center, releasing those legs, maybe doing a couple more windshield wipers if you like. Go ahead and come back up to a kneeling position, bring your knees together, inhale, exhale, just fall over those thighs coming to child's pose with your arms resting at your sides. Just allowing your forehead to meet the mat 
and allowing your arms and your body to fully relax over the knees, letting there be a release in the back and in the shoulders, where we also tend to store a lot of stress. Inhale back up, float your body forward and come down to your belly. Just stacking the hands and letting your forehead rest on your hands, letting your body melt down into your mat. Maybe coming back to a couple deep breaths. And on your next inhale, bend your right knee, bringing it in line with your hip. Inside of the right foot is flat on the ground. Arms come to a cactus shape, elbows in line with the shoulders. Resting your head on its left side. Relaxing down into side corpse pose. Take an inhale, exhale, release, stacking the hands again, resting the forehead on the hands. And on your next inhale, slide the left knee up, bringing it in line with the hip. Inside of the foot rests on the ground, gaze is over to the left. Inhale, exhale, release, stacking the hands again, resting the forehead on the hands. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, coming to a seated position, and then rolling down to your back. Go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together as you let the knees fall out for a reclined bound angle pose. If this is very intense on your hips, feel free to keep scooting your feet out until you are comfortable. Just letting gravity allow the knees to fall open.
Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Hugging the knees into the chest. Rocking side to side a little bit. Release the knees and bring them up to a 90 degree angle. Crossing the right leg over the left and letting both knees fall to the left side. Right arm comes out to the side for a cactus shape and your gaze follows that right elbow. Feel free to bring something underneath the knees to help you move into the twist. Exhale, release, hugging the knees in for a moment, bringing them back to a 90 degree angle as you cross the left leg over the right one. Both knees fall over to the right. Left arm comes out to the side for a cactus shape and your gaze follows. Inhale, exhale, release, hug the knees into the chest one more time. Squeeze your knees as tight as you can, lifting the head, squeezing. Exhale, relax down, letting your feet reach the corners of your mat. Your arms rest at your sides. And if you like, feel free to bring one hand over your heart and the other on your belly. Just feeling your breath here. Taking a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Allowing your body to fully relax and melt down into the floor. And just notice any emotions that arise while you're laying here. Acknowledging and allowing yourself to feel those emotions.
reminding yourself that right now it is safe to feel these emotions. Acknowledging how your body feels. Acknowledging what your body wants to do with these emotions. And just allowing yourself to work through them. Allowing yourself to breathe out any anger, to release any tears, letting yourself feel. Feel free to let go of anything you don't need right now. Feel free to leave it on your mat. You are safe. It is okay to feel these emotions. And on your next inhale, gently begin to bring movement back into the body. And when you're ready, roll over onto your right side using your arm as a pillow. Showing yourself gratitude for allowing your body to feel its emotions today. When you're ready, gently come up to a seated position. Sweeping the arms up with an inhale. Exhale, float them down to heart center. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this yoga practice for emotional release. Comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.